Good morning to everyone. Myself, N. Kalpana. I am from Sri G.K. Jain Higher Secondary School, Royapuram. For more educational video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Today, for the 11th standard, I am going to explain the topic is basic concepts of chemistry and chemical calculation. Under that, we have to see in the stoichiometry. Stoichiometric means a quantitative relation between the reactant and the product in a balanced equation. We have to find the quantitative relation of the chemical equation. But what the chemical equation? It should be in a balanced way. Both the reactant as well as the product sites, the, sites, the quantity, the number of molecules present will always be in a balanced way. Okay. So the, that process only we have to, that is called as the stoichiometric. Okay. Next one, how can you find the stoichiometric? If you know the mass of the substance, if you want to find the number of moles, you divide it by the molar mass. Uh, uh, sometimes if you know the number of mol moles, you will be multiplied with the molar mass, you will be getting as a mass number. The same way for the number of moles as related with the volume. If you know the number of mol moles, you, if you multiply with the 22.4, you will be get the volume. If you know the volume, if you have to divide it with the 22.4, you will be get the number of moles. Okay, let's see with the examples. So here CH3, so methane, it is reacted with the uh, oxygen. So yeah, obviously it should be a combustion process. So oxygen is there. So CH4 plus 2O2 which will be give carbon dioxide plus water molecules. When you see what is mean the balanced equation. So how many carbons are present in the reactant? Only one carbon. So when you go ahead with the product, only one carbons have been present. How many oxygens have been present? Four oxygens have been present. Here O2. And here it is 2O. So 2 plus 2, 4O. This is called as a balanced equation. So both the reactant side as well as the product says the number of molecules should be in a balanced way. Okay. Let's see. You have to take an as a reactant side as well as the product side. Let's see in the reactant side CH4, 2O2. That means oxygen. It is a 2 moles. At the same way of carbon dioxide and water molecules in the same way. Water molecules also be in the 2 moles. Okay. First one stoichiometric. Stoichiometric means number of how many number of quantitative that means the number how many numbers are there present when you take an a methane number one moles of methane have been present so it should be one oxygen two so two then carbon dioxide one water molecule two now you are able to understand what does mean by stoichiometry and second one it is a mole concept mole mole concept means both the reactant and the product should be mentioned in the mole so whatever the values quantity we are getting you have to express in the mole so for a ch4 it should be one one mole oxygen two two mole carbon dioxide one one mole water two two moles okay and next one is a mole into mass relationship mass uh, mass relationship means how can you find the mass for the ch4 carbon what is the mass number for carbon it should be 12 12 plus hydrogen you all uh, learn in the 10th standard how can you find the molar mass so carbon 12 plus 4 hydrogen have been present hydrogen 1 mass value of hydrogen is 1 12 plus 4 16 by this way only you have to find it and i'll tell you the thing oxygen it should be 16 so 2 molecules so uh, it should be 32 how many moles have been present 2 so 2 into 32 will be 64 carbon dioxide carbon 12 then oxygen 16 so 44 then water 2 oxygen 16 18 so 18 2 into 18 36 so this is the way you have to find the molar mass and next one is a mole as well as a volume in the product size that means in the reactant side it should be in the gram only but in the product side it should be converted in the mole mole means what you have to do so the see number of moles into converted into volume means you have to either you have to multiply with the 22.4 or 12 divided with it see number of moles have been given you want to find it as a volume so what should you do multiply with the 22.4 here how many moles are there 1 1 into 24 22.4 22.4 2 into 22.4, 44.8 liters. So, it is given in the product side. Next one, the volume-volume relationship. So, both the reactant and the product. So, the volume-volume relationship is the same. Whatever you have done, here it is also. So, 1 mole means according to the numbers you will be getting. And the next problem uh, based on the stoichiometric. See, 
how many moles of hydrogen is required to produce 10 moles of ammonia so uh, stoichiometric it is always been present in the uh, balanced equation let's see so ammonia will be present so hydrogen let's see the equation n2 plus 3 h2 which gives 2 nh3 uh, before that we have to confirm whether it is a balanced or not so see in the reactant two moles of nitrogen are present in the product the same two numbers will be there so in a hydrogen it should be uh, six will be there so the uh, here the hydrogen is also be six will be there so it obviously it should be a balanced equation let's go get into to the uh, problem so for, first you have considered ammonia a will be the ammonia and h will be the hydrogen because they are asking about the hydrogen requirements only not in the nitrogen so a h uh, for two moles of ammonia two moles of ammonia they get three moles of nitrogen so two three suppose in case of 10 moles of ammonia how many numbers of hydrogen will be present how many nit hydrogen it needed have you all understand the question so for two moles of ammonia three moles of nitrogen is required for if you have 10 moles of ammonia how many nitrogen will be required on it so two equal to for hydrogen three for 10 moles we have to find the hydrogen so x so three into two divided by so we have to done in the equation so three hydrogen divided by two moles of nit ammonia into 10 moles of ammonia so obviously what you have to do 30 3 tens are 30 so divided by 2 15 so for the 10 moles of ammonia we need 15 moles of hydrogen now we are able to understand first this is based this equations this problem which is based on the stoichiometric so if you are going with the stoichiometric equation always keep it in your mind it has been done in a balanced equation now we are able to understand and let's see the second equations second problem how much volume so, so it is in the moles it is in the volume that is okay so volume if you go ahead with the volume the constant value 22.4 is there okay so how much of volume of carbon dioxide is produced when 50 gram of car calcium carbonate CaCO3 is heated under a standard condition again before that you have to write the equation so carbon dioxide it will be in the product so CaCO3 which is unheated when you heated the calcium carbonate you will be getting a CO2 it is present in the problem so if you have calculated you will be getting CaO okay so how many carbon will be calcium will be present one in a product it should be one how many carbon it is present 1 1 oxygen 3 here it is 1 1 plus uh, sorry here it is 2 it is uh, 1 2 plus 1 it should be 3 so it is a balanced equation obviously before going to the problem it is if it is in the stoichiometric problem be confident with that it is a uh, balanced equation at the same way calcium carbonate we have to find the molar mass what is the for value for calcium it should be 40 plus carbon mass for the carbon is 12 so 40 plus 12 how many oxygen are present 3 moles 3 into mass of oxygen 16 so 40 plus 12 plus 3 into 16 you will be getting 100 gram mole per liter okay so one mole of calcium carbonate so it is in the gram molar if it you take it as a mole means if one mole of calcium carbonate mole means if you convert it into the liter it is divided by 22.4 so obviously one mole will be present 1 into 22.7 so it should be 22.7 liters so in the last uh, formula in last problem we saw no so how many moles are there if it is in the volume you have to obviously multiply with the 22.7 it is a constant value so here the same the calcium carbonate it is one mole of calcium carbonate so 1 into 22.7 so 22.7 liters are there so let's do the same thing calcium carbonate and carbon dioxide so in this question they discuss about the calcium carbonate as well as the carbon dioxide so, so you have to do it calcium carbonate co2 for 100 gram of calcium carbonate you need 22.7 liters for if you have taken a 50 gram of called calcium carbonate how many liter how many liters of uh, co2 have been taken the same way for that you have been cross multiply so yuck so if you don't know the 50 gram so it should be put it as a x so for x equal to 
is a cross multiply 50 into 22.7 divided by 100 51 times 102 times so 22.7 divided by 2 you will be getting 11.35 okay now we are able to understand students so first in this uh, topic we have discussed about the stoichiometric stoichiometric means giving a quantitative quantitative means deal with the number of molecules how many moles always it is act in the balanced equation so these are all the examples which has given so almost these kind of uh, problem numerical problems will be arise on it okay subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update